It's showtime, and uh, tonight I'm delighted off the stage a man who's known throughout the industry as the Death Lad from Yorkshire. And I'm not one to argue. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for chaos and comedy from Andy Wilkins. <laughs> To be you. I wandered around, finally found somebody who can make me feel blue, can make me feel true, can make me feel sad, happy or glad, I think it on you. Some people I've seen. May never be me. May never be cross or try to cut the rubbish. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Good evening. Yeah. You've been quiet. Good evening. Yeah. You think I put so much moose on you? Yeah? <laughs> Is that rubbish or what? I woke up yesterday morning and all this side was stiff. I woke up this morning and all this side was stiff. I can't wait all tomorrow. <laughs> if you're gonna clap and run around, it's gonna clap. <laughs> I saw three coppers under a seesaw. I said, what are you doing there? They said, we've been tipped off. <laughs> this sounds better at the the chemist, I said, have you got anything for hiccups? And they punched me in the face. I said, what have you done that for? He said, it stops your hiccups, hasn't it? I said, it's my brother, it's my brother, he's outside in the car. <laughs> well, you're better. I got a pair of shoes for the market, I got them home, opened the box, one lace. I took them straight back. I said, have you got one lace? He said, read the box. He said, tie one. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Are you enjoying yourselves? Yeah. You enjoying a nice cruise, isn't it? Yeah. I love this cruise, in loads of food, isn't there? Yeah. I know, you get on the your passenger, get off cargo. <laughs> and when you got off the ship, you'll all be walking like this. <laughs> Do you know why? No, if you go down the corridor, if there's a door open, you've got to look, haven't you? Hey Mary, look at this, look at that, look at that <laughs> And then cabin stewards are good, aren't they? Yeah. You leave your room, you come back, so much moved, innit? <laughs> there you go, that one there, that one there. It's a bit spooky, innit? <laughs> Three o'clock this morning, I went to the toilet, come back, there's me. <laughs> he must live in the room. And I looked underneath my bed, and I found a skeleton under my bed. Middle round his neck. Ventura, Arden Seat Champion, 2007. <laughs> and at them, at, at them shower curtains, friendly. <laughs> that was me tonight, I was sat on the bed. <laughs> Five o'clock this afternoon, on my toilet door, a woman sat on my toilet, a woman on my toilet. I said, what are you doing there? She said, I'm from the room above. I forgot to get off and I flushed it. <laughs> Can you imagine, imagine having a drink and going back to your cabin feel a bit sick. As you bend down, yeah, it's the button. <laughs> You'd have a skeleton head, wouldn't you? But I'm glad you're all here enjoying yourself, but P&O don't tell you this. They put a chemical in the pool. If a man has a wee, it goes blue. If a woman has a week, goes red. Well, I saw this couple today swimming up and down like that. Look at the red arrows. <laughs> There's two old ladies on the deck today, two old ladies. One said, Brendan, your bum's gone to sleep. The other said, I know I could hear it snoring. <laughs> I like them jacuzzis, don't you? Jacuzzis. I love them jacuzzis. I love them shit. Just sitting there with a glass of wine, it's looking in it. And I thought, what I'll do today, I'll go in the jacuzzi, 
And I got, I got changed the old fashioned way. Put the towel around me, as you do. Took my shorts off. Took my underpants off. Went to get my swimming trunks. And the towel fell off. One of the old ladies had a stroke. The other one couldn't reach. Will you catch up? Sleep, what's going on in here? Oh, I'll tell you what, put them lights up, Pete, let's have a look. Oh, there's one or two ugly women in the audience, isn't there? Yeah, there's one or two. I'm not going to point you out, you know you are. I'm going to sing a song now for the best looking woman in the audience, then, yeah, Nice. I'm going to sing. Oh, wait a minute. Well, that's the ugly song for the best looking woman in the audience, then, gentlemen. Lovely song for the best looking woman in the audience. <laughs> <sighs> are you free from Scotland, are you? Are you from Scotland? You're from Scotland. You three from Scotland. I'm never wrong. I looked at them three and I thought, Loch Ness. <laughs> cheer up, love. Cheer up. You might have got your dates wrong. Cheer up. Love. I'm not going to bother casting like that on me. I don't know. Get back anywhere I want. Is anybody from Scotland? Because you love. Everyone from. I love the Scottish. Everyone from Ireland? Cast on them. <laughs> Everyone from Wales? Oggy, oggy, oggy! He's just went to turn the Welsh into it. Eh? <laughs> I was in Wales last week, went down the country road, and I saw Sam. Two pounds of potatoes, two pounds. Pound of carrots, one pound seventy five. Paracetamol, six pounds ninety nine. I knocked on this door, I said, what are you selling paracetamol for? The bloke said, I'm a pharmacy. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Because you get lovely cabins, you what, don't you? Not me. I'm deck zero zero. <laughs> yeah, this morning I found Nemo. I don't get a chocolate on my pillow, I get a kipper. <laughs> I stopped in my cabin today, I had a walk round. <laughs> I put the key in the door this afternoon, I bust the portal. <laughs> you get spoiled, don't you, you lovely cabins. Is anybody still getting lost? Yes. You never go to your cabin the same way twice, do you? You don't, do you? And I like watching you lot, because you get out of the lift, my husband's right. And there's a picture on every, a picture on every, outside the lift, of the ship. And the women go, George, we're here. And he goes, no, we're not Brenda, we're here. They go, no, we're here. No, but they start arguing. You go that way, I'll go this way. They don't see each other for three days. <laughs> Somebody on the deck stopped me today, went, where's the pointy bit of the ship? I said, it's that way, Captain. <laughs> Let me socks. Pramac. Pound a pair. Yeah, I got me the sale. And I had 50 pence. Look. <laughs> Kids are funny, aren't they? Kids are funny, aren't they? Yes. My little girl's funny. <laughs> I should have brought her, shouldn't I? <laughs> She's only five. Aww. And I'm from Yorkshire. Yay. Anyone from Yorkshire? Yay. Where are you from? Sorry. Sorry. I oh, know I'm just sorry. And you know. <laughs> Barnsley. Anybody from Hull? Yeah. No, you're not. My mum's in. Are you from all? 
Are you from who? Where about she from? You know. Which is from who? All this road. All oh, right. What number? <laughs> Just like my brother's a burglar. I thought I'd give him a ring while you're here. Are you going home Saturday? Because a lift. Ain't got a lift yet. Old city. <laughs> going down. Going down. But I'm, I'm a smart little, I'm a little girl, there's only five. You miss them, don't you? I don't miss them on cruise ships because I push every button, don't they? And you stop on every floor and start giggling, don't they? I took my bike, I was only five, I took on the bus for the first time last week. I said, when we're not on this bus, you fall. <laughs> you tight Yorkshire people, you'll know that, won't you? I said, I know when I got on this bus you for. She went, damn, bam, fat. I said, shut it, because I'm paying for me. I'm not paying for you. I got on the bus, I said, one, please. The driver said, you're a bonny little girl. I thought, don't you talk to her. And I'm dragging her down the bus. He shouted, how old are you? Well, she looked at me and she went, The driver said, when are you five? She said, when I get off this bloody bus? <laughs> I don't blame the kids, I blame parents. I blame parents. Hands up in here if you're over 75. There's some lying, ugly women. Come here. Because my mum and dad said daft things to me. And I say to my kids you now, them things you can never do. They say things what you can't do. That's why I'm thick. That's why I'm the daft lad from Yorkshire. Do you remember that one? I'll start you off. Fall off the wall and break your leg. <laughs> Don't come running to me. <laughs> How the bloody hell could you... <laughs> How could you do that? <laughs> my mum used to say to me, shut your mouth, eat your tea. How could you do that? And then my dad would charm him. You, Andrew, just look at the book in your ears. <laughs> How could you do that? And when my dad got mad with me, he forgot my name. Who the bloody hell do you think you are? Eh? <laughs> Who the bloody hell do you think you are, eh? And if he got really mad, he forgot his own name. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to, eh? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> and if you went home late, your mama said, you wait while your dad comes in. He's gonna kill you, then you're gonna bed. <laughs> but the best one, the best one, right, was your mother, wasn't it? Because when your mum your, your mum got mad, when your mum, your mother, your mother, mum get mad with you, my mother had turned into a ventriloquist. <laughs> she'd stand up on the stairs like that and she'd go. I can see you now. <laughs> get up, you bloody stairs. <laughs> and get to bed, you little girl. Go on! The good old days, you keep them, can't you? Because I've got loads of money, me, you know. Yeah. It's just like it's tied up in mum and dad's house. <laughs> Can't be long now. <laughs> and the average age on this ship, this week, well, last two weeks, the average age is 62. Ooh. But you're just like teenagers, aren't you? Yeah, you don't work and you set drugs. <laughs> Did you go to Barcelona the other day? Yes. Did, I can't believe it, I was there. Down at Ramblers and I saw a sign, it said, English speaking doctor. I thought we don't get that at home. <laughs> and I was down that Ramblers, have you been down Ramblers? You get all them statues, don't you? And you put some money in, they go like that, don't they? 
do what I do. They don't move very quick, but when, they, when I do it, they do. I pretend to put some money in and pinch the ass. You want to see it move then? And I was in. The, well, I didn't want to say this, but right, what happened? Right, I didn't know. I didn't know. So don't judge me. What happened was I was going down Ramblers and I saw this bar. I didn't know. I didn't know. And I went in this bar with its flashing lights, you know, disco lights. And I was in there. Now I didn't know this. I didn't know. I didn't know, right? But when the lights come on, I was in a gay bar, wasn't I? I didn't know. I didn't know. So I said to this fella I was dancing with. I said, I said, I've got to go. He said, you can't. I said, why? He said, we're in the final. <laughs> but I didn't know I was coming here until two days ago. Never been there. And I said to a friend of mine at home, I said, hey, I'm off to Spain tomorrow. And he speaks Spanish. I said, speak, teach me Spanish. He said, when you go? I said, tomorrow. I said, teach me. He said, Andy, Andy, just speak slowly. And I go to another bar. I walked in, I said, excuse me. Could I have a pint of San Miguel, please? And the barman went, certainly, sir. <laughs> so I said, what has the weather been like this last two weeks? He said, the weather has been really nice and it's getting better. So I said, where are you from? He said, I'm from Hull. And look, I said, I am too. So why me and you speak in Spanish? And I go to this other bar and there's all these bulls on the wall in Ramblers. And as I walked in, I said, Pants and Miguel. I looked up, well, that's a big bull. And the barman said, I killed it. I said, what? He said, I killed it. I said, you killed that bull? He said, yeah, before I was a barman, I was a matador. And I killed it, like that. I said, what about that one there? He said, that one nasty bull. That bull got me there. 27 stitches. But I killed it. I said, what about that one there? Over there? They said, nasty bull. I bent down to the crowd, the bull came. See this? 21 stitches. But I killed it. I said, what about that big one in the corner? He said, I don't talk about that. I said, what? He said, I don't talk about that. That bull killed my brother. I said, it killed your brother? Was he a matador? He said, no, he was playing dominoes and it fell on his head. a lovely song, ladies and gentlemen, a lovely song for the best looking woman in the audience, ladies and gentlemen. Put the lights up, Pete, I'm going to sing a lovely song for the best looking woman in the audience. Christ. It's a lovely song. No, I don't think I'll bother, not in here. Yeah, I drive to Barcelona, that's when I come to Barcelona. Yeah, driving to the airport, Manchester Airport. There's a, I was driving to the airport, there's a car in front of me with a sticker on the window. If you can read this, you are driving too close. And with that, a bloke on a motorbike overtook me. On his back, he said, if you can read this, the wipes fell off. <laughs> but do you know when you're driving down a motorway, like you've all done it? You don't see the police, do you? Because they are good. And you just drive a man your own business like that. That was me last week. All of a sudden, ER, 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 cop from a donkey. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and he went like that, he went. 
So I pulled over, as you do, right? And he got off his motorbike and it was all in leather. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> and he walked towards me like John Wayne. 